Yo, what's going on guys in this video? We're gonna be doing hotel from hack my VM. This is Black Sword about easy. And yeah, let's get on to the video. Alright, I'm sorry to spend my term sir. I'm sorry running a and discover mine star 10.0.0.1 slash 24 slash I T0. Doing this, we do get that be the box 10.0.0.124. So I'm doing control shift Z. So we're doing MAP scan. So do MM minus SC for default scripts. My SV for normation. I was kind of ports in the IP. Doing this, I'm doing my SV verbos. Look at the ports, we do have port 22 open for SSH and also port 80 open for HTTP. Some supervisors any port 80. Here we do get the main the main menu for year 2022. Also do get a hotel druid. I'm gonna do control YouTube source code. And it doesn't seem like we're doing anything. Then this I'm gonna copy this and start by doing some remission. So do go buster their mode minus you once the IP address. We'll do minus w for slash user share wordless. We'll do drum buster directory. Let's do medium medium.txe. We'll do extensions as HTML, txe, php. Here we do get an index HTML, images, themes, doc, includes, readme, and api.php, and copy. So I'm going to start by visiting um, or checking for like a changelog.txe for any versions. Also, do have a readme. So I'm start visiting readme. Maybe there's a version inside of here. So it does seem like this file does exist. So I'm just double w get this onto my machine. So I'll do wget. get. I'm gonna cat this readme file. Here we do have a readme.english inside the doc folder. Um so we have to have this doc directory. And it does seem like it does exist. So I'm just gonna w get this onto my machine. Some cat is readme.english. I'm just gonna more into readme.english. Look at this, we do get the hotel druid. I also do get a version here um, as a hotel druid version 3.0.3. .3. So I'm gonna copy this and search up for like an exploit, exploit db. And this seems like we can get remote code execution. Um, it does seem like this is it's specifying the IP address um, onto this .php, which we do have this .php uh, file here. Um, and it does seem like it, this is going to store it under this uh, .dati directory and this .php with the parameter of cmd is equal to the command. So let's see if this works. So I'm just going to go to view, view raw. Quit this, clear my terminal I'm just gonna get this. I'm gonna output this to like an exploit.py. Move this exploit. I just wanna put this in like that. We'll do, we'll run a chmod plus x against exploit.py. We'll do python3 against exploit.py. Here we can start by specifying minus t for the target. So we do, we do notice this is HTTP. We also did have the IP address has 10.0.0.124. So 10 0 we can specify a minus U, also minus P. In this case, we don't have a username and password, so I'm gonna specify no auth. And it does seem like this was executed for under that directory that we did mention for DATI. So I'm just gonna open this in your link. Now we are under www.data. So I'm just gonna go to start proxy, open up burp sweep. Go to next, start burp. So I'm just gonna go to proxy, go to options, go to um, set my specific address, go to okay. Press enter on this, send this into repeater, send this, and now we're gonna dub 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 data. So I'm just gonna go to pen test monkey. Let's go to turn off. I'm just gonna go to pen test monkey. I'm just gonna reverse shell and just do control F for temp. Copy this. We'll just put that in there. We'll do 10.0.0.0.6.9 on port 9001. I'm going to highlight this. Do control U to you encode this. So do control U. I'm starting my listener. So we'll do all wrap. My cap minus LMVP on 9001. Send this. we we'll do ID. And now we're under www data. So I'm export my term. Is equal to X term. Clear this. I'm starting running a bash. Maybe a bin slash bash minus i. 
And now we're going to dub 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 data. So I'm going to start by doing some manual enumeration and start by visiting slash opt. Um, we'll go under slash home. We do have user as person. Concat the user.txe. Doesn't seem like we can. I'm going to go under slash var. Uh, there should be a dot backups in here. Doesn't seem like we do have anything under there. We are under var dub dub dub. I'm cd into HTML. We also do have this hotel druid. Also this TTY log. Um, I'm just going to run like a file command on this TTY log. Maybe we can use TTY play to view this TTY log file. It, it, it is showing data. Another way you can confirm is if you cat this TTY log. You do see that this is um, this can be executed. All right, so to play this TTY log file, we also do need to have the tool for TTY play. I don't have this on my Linux machines. So I'm going to transfer this in my Ubuntu machine so we can play this TTY log file. Doing this, I'm going to do Python 3 minus M HTTP dot server on port 881. So now we do have this. We do know the IP address is 10.0.0.124. Okay, so now I'm on my Ubuntu machine. We do have that um, server running. So I'm just going to do wget HTTP. 10.0.0.124. I believe this is on port 8081. We'll do TTY log. We did get that TTY log. Now we do have the tool for you. If I do which TTY play, this is under user bin TTY play. So I'm just copy this. I'll just do user bin TTY play for TTY log. And to show that we do have person at hotel, which we did see the, this user as the home inside the home directory. It is just telling us that the password is so I'm just gonna copy this. And this seemed like we do have the password as this. And I think that's the end of the TTY log file. All right, so now we're back on the Kelly machine uh, doing this. We did have the password, so I'm just gonna put this into my text editor so we can copy and paste this later on. Um, we do need to get a reverse shell again, so I'm just gonna do all wrap and I cap my cell VP on 8001. We can just send this request again. I just wanna make sure that we do have, um, this This user is valid, so I'm gonna I'll listen to you home we do have user as person i'm gonna switch users to person we did have that user for or that password for person we do id now we're in the group id for person uh, we did have port 22 open for ssh so i'm just gonna ssh into person so we'll do ssh person at 10 does 124 we'll do to that in there we do id now we do a prison shell so i'm gonna pseudo minus l we do have this work html to pdf so I'm going to do sudo minus u, where it says root for the binary. We'll do minus h for help. Um, does seem we can specify the version. And I'm going to be looking for the documentation for this. So I'm just going to search up um, documentation. Uh, we'll do like post file. So we can post a file to this. So here we do have the command line arguments. So I'm going to do minus minus post dash file. So here it does seem like we can post a file to this. I'm going to see if we can start by reading um, the DOSSH. So we can start by specifying uh, work HTML to PDF. We'll do minus minus post dash file. We'll do minus put this in quotation to specify a file. We'll do slash root. We'll start with, I'm going to see if there is any um, private keys for root. So I'm going to specify DOSSH ID underscore RSA. We'll do HTTP. 10.0.069 on port 881. And we do need, do need to specify a .pdf. Basically, that's what the tool does. It's converted to a PDF. So I'm just going to name this for root.pdf. Uh, the problem with this is that if I do start a Python server on HTTP.server on port 881, this server only accepts get requests and does not accept post requests. Um, so doing this, we do need to specify, you can use all wrap. Or you can use burp sweep to accept that post or get request. Um, it's going to give us a 501. So if I do press enter on this, do you see that we do get a code 501, which is unsupported method, show unsupported method for post. Um, doing this, it does put this under for root.pdf. 
Um, if I do all of that, I cap my sound VP on 9001 or in port 881. If I do this one more time, you do see that we do get the private key. So that's one way to doing it. So I'm just going to copy this private key, put this into a. I'm just going to put this into ID underscore same. So I'm going to VI2 hash. VI2 ID underscore same. Put that in there. I'm just going to write quit. Let's well, SSH into root at 10.0.0.124. We'll do minus I for ID underscore the same. We do CH. We do forgot the permissions. So we do CH mod 600 for ID underscore the same. And we do ID. And we have the root.txe. Another way you can do this is actually start by going within burp. If you go to proxy, I'm just going to go to options, go to edit. We'll do 10.0.0.124. Redirect this to port 80. Billy's 8081, or can we? We did have this on port 881, so I'm just gonna go okay. Or we can specify this on we can just specify this on port 8080 since this is going to be going to we can change this to port 8081. Changes to port 8080. Press enter on this. Let's run this one more time. Same like it went with in burp. And here we do have the private key, which is the same private key that we did get within our wrap. So just two ways you can do this. You can either use a burp, um, just go to options, go to edit, put the redirect to host and also the port. So you can get the request and you should get the private key. Or you can just use netcat to receive it on port 8081 or whatever port you want. And to get the private key. Well, guys, that's pretty much in the video. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.